Hello YouTubers and all of you model Wero fans alike, it's Thomas Soe 3000 here and it's that time of the week again. It's time for another retro review and this week we are looking at the Bachman Branch Lines LMS World Scott number 6106. This one is known as Gordon Highlander. This is an HO scale model that was given to me for my birthday in 2012. And I have to admit, it's a pretty darn good little locomotive. I've run it on my layout on several occasions. Um, I'm not too familiar with the Royal Scots because I'm still learning a lot about the British engines. Uh, but I do know this box does come with some information on the Royal Scots. I mean, here's what the back of the box looks like. So it doesn't seem like I'm going to be doing too much explaining about the locomotive, apparently. Just showing off the model. And it does say that this is uh, Royal Scott number 6106 Gordon Highlander LMS Crimson 4,000 gallon tender. Yeah, so apparently they had 4,000 gallon tenders. Yeah. Now, yeah, I really like the packaging for the Bachman Branch Line engines. These are really nice. Anyway, let's get the locomotive out of the box. And of course, they're held in by these small little tabs, so you gotta pull them out. There's another one on the other side here. This helps to protect the locomotives from accidentally falling out and, and then falling onto the floor, which is not a good thing. Okay, so let's have a good look at the locomotive and tender. Looks very nice all together. And held in by this styrofoam. First, I'll actually take the styrofoam out of the box and I'll show you the uh, brief history of the Royal Scots. This is included in the box, so you can learn all about the LMS uh, Royal Scots. If you want to read the information, I don't know how clear that is, but if you want to read it, you can pause the video now. Okay, now let's get on to the actual locomotive. There are little holes back here to help you uh, push the locomotive out of the box. I'm trying to keep the box from falling onto the floor here. So let's start with the tender. Let me get the locomotive out in a second. Bachman once again did a great job on all the detailing. Nice rivets. The handlebars. The top view. Nice coal load. This view of the tender. It's got a lot of details. Okay, I'll just move the tender out of the way. And we'll get out the main piece. The locomotive. Number 6106. Okay, so here it is. 6106 Gordon Highlander. <laughs> yeah. Front of the locomotive. There's the little nameplate. I'm not sure if you can read it. I'm trying to show you all the details. It's got handrails, nice black handrails. And it's known as a 460 with 10 wheeler. Just like the black fives. Inside the cab, you got an engine driver. No fireman in there, but I'll probably add that in there at some given point. This used to be owned by another British model railroader. Um, then they, they were sold off, and my dad bought one of these along with a Great Western Prairie, which I'll show another day. Yeah, this looks to be pretty cool. And I'll just put the locomotive on the tracks over here. Just move the camera over so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Now let's give it a try.
slow motion. Very slow runner. Oh. Sorry about that. My tracks are a little dirty. Now let's couple the locomotive up to a train and give it a test run around the layout. Slow it down to make sure I don't derail the train or the locomotive. It's done that on more than one occasion. Okay, I got it coupled up to a lengthy goods train. So, here we go. The speed I got the locomotive at is 40. And there you have it. That's my Bachman HO scale or double O scale of the Gordon Highlander number 6106 from the London Midland and Scottish Railway. I don't have too many British steam engines at the moment, but I'm hoping to get some more soon. Uh, hopefully I'll get some more Royal Scots in the future and hopefully they'll be just as good as this model. <laughs> yeah. This model comes highly recommended. I do believe it's still available to this day, so if you're interested in buying a Gordon Highlander for your, let's say, maybe London, Midland, Scottish layout, or if you're just building a 
complete uh, British Railways layout and you want a uh, locomotive that would have been seen on British rails between the 1940s into the 1960s, then I would highly recommend getting this engine. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much all I can say for now. I wish I could have given you some history on the locomotive, but I'm not too familiar with the Royal Scots. Uh, but I'll learn about them eventually. <laughs> So, that's it. I'm Thomas Silver 3000. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned next week for another episode of the Retro Reviews. And I'm signing off.